on this stream, we watch YouTube videos. And guess what? There's a brand new one. Guess who it's from? It's our good friend, Carlito! We love Carlito. That's our boy, and he uploaded yesterday, and I dropped a like, and I didn't even watch it, because I knew that I would love it, because I love Carlito, and I'm going to enjoy this movie with you all right now. These are the rarest Nintendo consoles, shall we? Let's say I presented you with two different Nintendo Switches. One is just the basic gray normal Switch, and the other one is made out of mercury and has Joy-Cons that are shaped like Mewtwo. I still want the normal one. <laughs> I know what you're going to say, Carlito. I know what you're going to say, but I have a kid, which is very dangerous, and also that does not look ergonomic. Now, which one would you want more? The left That's one right. still. You probably picked the one made out of mercury. No. Even though it would no. probably kill you, it looks really cool, so it's worth it. No, it doesn't look really cool, actually. It looks painful to hold. You could have used a better metaphor here. That's kind of what limited edition consoles are, just prettier looking consoles. Is that real? PS... Uh, that's not real. But they are still so cool. <laughs> I, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I think that one's more my speed. I think that one's a little bit better. This is a lot more uh, obnoxious. I wanted to find out what are the absolute rarest Nintendo consoles in here. Damn, big family games? With that shitty chrome paint job? The Queen's so, Wii. Here are the absolute Montezuma's Wii. Nintendo consoles. You definitely would get that Wii after going trekking through the Aztec for like 30 days. How do we make this thing look gas? So in the 27th issue of Nintendo Power... Damn, that Mr. Wiley... Mr. Wiley? That Dr. Wiley looks crazy! I'd watch a whole movie of that! My bad, I gotta respect him, he went to college. Calling all proud Game Boy owners to draw their own sick design onto this little template. Countless designs were submitted. I bet they were ugly, Only a few though. were made into actual These Game Boys. These things are probably gross. And here they are. Oh my god! These were all made into real Game Boys, uh. and they're pretty elusive. We have a picture of this one, but that's it. The other two aren't even documented online. Wait, did they come with the, the handles, though? Those are kind of comfy, actually. I really wanted to see how this one would have even looked in yeah. real life, but again, Bro. who knows what happened to these. Me and Carlito, same fucking wavelength. All the time. That's my boy. They still got one of these three custom consoles that we actually do have pictures okay. of, and they do look pretty cool. Not that one, though. <laughs> I don't know how you hit those buttons. No, these are all dog shit. I hate the Game Boy. I think the Game Boy is a piece of shit. Er don't, don't make that face at me. When you guys call me old every other stream constantly, and now we're pretending like we have respect for old technology. You don't give a shit. But there are some random bangers in these simple ones, I can't lie. Like the Backstreet Boys Game Boy. <laughs> the Backstreet Boys apparently did a tour in Japan. Awesome. They gave away a Game Boy. You no, know, I'm going to get comments about this. No, this does not count. This Game Boy was damaged when barracks were bombed during the 1990-1991 Gulf War. It still works. This better not count. I don't think Nintendo planned that. Nintendo <laughs> planned a special edition once-in-a-lifetime Game Boy. Hit this house. <laughs> it still works, bat chest. I think that's pretty bat chestable. I think if a fucking warhead goes off and your console still works, I would bat chest. That's cool. There's a couple bangers on this one. Like the German Club Nintendo Ooh. Ocarina of Time. That shit looks like it could kill someone. It looks like... Why is that my first thought? It looks like it's made out of marble. Why is that where my brain went? I don't know. I associate the marble texture with, uh, with, with homicide, I guess. Evidence in a point and click. Yeah. <laughs> Coney is an ace attorney antagonist. The orange soda game. Ooh. If you drank this specific brand of orange soda and for some reason looked underneath the bottle cap and saw that there was an S underneath the cap, you just earned yourself an orange soda Game Boy. <laughs> now, Slam okay. is a really cool name. Yeah. But there's actually layers to this. Okay. The original name of the brand is actually called Marinda. Slam is what it's called in Italy. And only Italy, uh -huh. which is why it's so rare. They must have made like fucking five of these things and just stopped because why would you make more? It only works as a marketing <laughs> stunt for Italy. So Dude, I genuinely don't know why that trend died. The clear colored plastic. I think it's cool as shit. Am I just old? Like, is that, does that appeal to me, the millennial? Do people like that now? I think people still like it, right? And uh, the NES, that thing has Jack. There's this NES really? that appeared in the Nintendo World Championships. Is that shit gold? But it doesn't look any different, oh. which low-key kind of blows because the no, controllers look different. Oh, shit! I bet that's just a sticker. The console. Never and mind. I'm, I was going to say, oh, that's cool as hell. It, it, it's just I'm gonna a sticker. Be honest, I'm already kind of done with these two consoles. There's really nothing else I got. Show me the game. Okay, besides the SNES M16. 
where does the game go? Found this while researching and I really wanted to talk about it. <laughs> this is a real rare controller that was made for this system. And like, am I the stupid one for not knowing this was a thing? Because <laughs> like, how has nobody talked about this? I've never seen... What game do you play on this? Yoshi's Safari? That duck better run. All right, so I have a story with this. So when I was a kid, my dad and I went to Toys R Us, and I really wanted to play the new Mario game, which was called Yoshi's Safari, okay? I wanted to play this really bad. The problem is that Yoshi's Safari is a first-person shooter, and you need a uh, super, a super scope? Is that what it's called? To play it. And my dad was like, $200, fuck that, and he walked out. He's like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but uh, I think he might have if he saw this. My dad would be like, damn, that's kind of cool, actually. If I'm shooting at Bowser with an M16? Die, Lemmy! There is a definitive rarest Nintendo 64 out there. Isn't it the fucking... Is it like that teal one? No, I'm thinking of the GameCube And controller. this is it. That's not real. That's not real, Carlito. That's it. You did... There, no, you did... <laughs> that's not real. You cannot tell me this isn't hard. You're not telling me the Buck Bumble at 64 is real. I've never seen this. Don't I, like that this... reset button placement, though. Don't know why that's kind of like right in the middle. Don't like that. Turn on my Buck Bumble and 64... <laughs> To then put in my copy of Banjo Tooie. I was gonna say, ain't nobody playing Buck Bumble. So I can talk to Klungo some more. This is my ultimate dream. Is Carlito uh, Banjo Tooie pilled? I have to dislike the video. Wait, Carlito's in here. Carlito, you a Tooie guy? No, fuck Tooie. <laughs> w Carlito. W. We love that guy. Hell yeah, that's my fucking guy. Based. Like the Star Fox Assault GameCube. Oh, that's nice. Now, this thing is pretty cool. Did you guys know that you could take the gem out on the GameCube? I saw this in a YouTube short the other day. To remove the jewel, you just need to press in the two points located under the lid, releasing the plastic from the top. Isn't that There's crazy? There's currently a project in the works from Laser Bear that looks pretty cool. It replaces the top jewel with an LCD screen. The jewel snaps right... But why would you? Hook it up to your ring camera? <laughs> What are you going to do with that? But also a Yoshi-themed Game Boy Advance uh, SP like and this DS that has Mario swimming on it. I kind of like that. That's kind of pretty. But they actually were never given away in the sweepstakes because the geniuses behind the magazine just forgot to include instructions on how to actually enter the damn giveaway. <laughs> okay. They put these pretty pictures of all these consoles celebrating eight years of their cool Nintendo magazine yeah. just to forget how to tell people how to even win these consoles. So they're just showing off. They're like, hey, check this out. But all these things were just lost because nobody got them. That's and good. believe it or not, it happened like again from the same magazine end zone. <laughs> There was another GameCube that was never given away, the Incredibles GameCube. What? You could take out Mr. Incre- You could put- Okay. I, I want to put a screen in there. The <laughs> Uncanny? <laughs> Maybe he reacts to whatever game you put in. So you put, <laughs> you put in Billy Hatcher, and you close the GameCube lid, and this pops up. Billy Hatcher. Great. Fantastic. And then you swap it out, and you start playing Eternal Darkness, and you close the lid, and it's this. <laughs> <laughs> that would scare the shit out of me. Every time you close the lid, it's a different face on it. This is the coolest oh console known to man. Oh, dude, look at the colors on that. The Donkey Konga Cube. Dude, it's green on top, too. This console not only features this roided up Kong, <laughs> but also this honestly sick-ass color scheme as well. No, it's a good Even color. Even if it didn't yeah. have this DK on it, it just looks No, I good. love that. The DK looks a little fucked up. Like, the, the pupils being a little distorted, and the mouth is a little threatening, right? A lot of GameCubes with the MTV logo on oh, it. Oh, More MTV cool. GameCubes than the world has ever seen or needed. I want this one behind me. Yeah, yeah, this one here. The blue and white one is so classic, though, man. Dude, they're all so good. The Luigi's Mansion GameCube. But this one is yet another console that required raw skill and talent to have earned. Okay. At the 2002 Nintendo Championships. Round one consisted of three different games. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, oh. Wave Race Blue Storm, yes. and Pikmin. Oh, <laughs> what? How are, how do you compete? Now round two was Super Smash Brothers Melee hell 1v1s. Yeah. There were definitely some hot sets here. I was there, trust me. This guy's Fox was nice as hell. I was gonna say, I wanna watch that right now. Round three, need for speed. Oh my God, I would've won this tournament. Holy shit, dude. I love this game. I, I unironically loved this game. I would've won this tournament and the, the GameCube. Then the semifinals would occur. NHL. I lose, Never mind. I'm out, I'm dead. <laughs> no way it's warrior different wear, games right? will be played for each okay. game game one ice climber cool mark wins love that game two 
Time Splitters 2. Dude! Jan Eric wins. Oh my god! I, I, I want Nintendo run tournaments again. I love this. I love this. Please. And game 3, Mario Kart 64. <laughs> okay, this is a fun bit. This is nice. Settle it all. Jan Eric was in the lead on the final lap of the race, mm -hmm. but then Mark popped a blue shell. Mark crosses the finish line and wins. He earns his ass <laughs> oh a whole God. ass setup. Is that real? Is this a real story? Did you make this up? I could never call you on it. I could never guess. Oh my God, I would pay thousands for this. Dude, this fire CRT. A Wave Racer VHS? Mario and Link sound system. I would actually be furious losing this to a fucking blue show. I would never play Mario again. But Good section. To Good the section. Game Boy Love that. And oh, not more Game Boy. Let me introduce you to the hot violet Game Boy Advance. I don't want to see the hot violet Game Boy if I don't give a shit about mobile consoles, bro. So what we got here is three different GBAs that were decorated by three different famous athletes. No way they got Tony Hawk to bedazzle the GBA. His ass did no work. Dude, <laughs> he he threw the glitter just all over it with zero concern and then bedazzled red, white, and blue jewels. Nintendo just put three dudes in a room and made them each do arts and crafts with some Game Boys. <laughs> I was going to say, this is like a camp project. I feel so bad for whoever won this thing. <laughs> Playing on this thing must be one of the saddest gaming experiences, like, ever. You're just reminded of Dave Mira at every moment. The entire screen is covered <laughs> by the man's signature. Never been a DS guy? Don't care about these. Uh, I suggest you omit these systems in the future. The Animal Crossing DS. Never fucking mind. Oh my god. One for each season. Oh my god. They're mad Those are cute. beautiful. All of them are one of a kind based on a different season of the oh year. Oh my god, I want spring. These systems were auctioned off at the Sundance Film Festival. I like that which green is one a lot. Give me that. Popular film festival I want that, that happens please. every year in the US. People put in a lot of money to get their hands on these things. The How brown much? one got sold to Alan Cumming for Alan, what? <laughs> so stupid. Editor, don't put that in the video. It's so stupid. Only fifteen hundred though. For fifteen hundred, doesn't seem got that sold crazy. To Poppy Mangop fuck to for twenty five hundred. Yeah, I would and pay the blue that one got sold to Jay was. Moore for a huge ten thousand. Jay Moore, Jay Moore bought a blue DS for ten thousand dollars. Now remember that Luigi's Mansion GameCube one in that Nintendo tournament series from earlier. Uh huh. Well, this next DS was one in the same series. Oh my God, that's cool, dude. This old art is so good. It really is, man. It's just peak. But we know who actually won it. Because the kid who won the 2004 Swedish Nintendo Championships would have farm every future year of this event. <laughs> Literally every other winner of this series. Oh, hell won yeah. Once. But Joachim here won three, which is pretty huge. Joachim is a real gay. I gotta find him on Twitch. This dude isn't any random either. He's actually known across the world. Really? Because Joachim Actorhall used to also be one of the best Dota 2 players in huh? the world. Wait, what? You're kidding. This is, he's a Nintendo gamer. He entered this pretty huge European Melee event. What? He was actually able to get fifth and doubles right behind players like Armada and Leffen. What the fuck? Well, it's Europe. Wait, it's Europe. <laughs> I want to see. I'm, just, I'm not trying to be rude. I just want to know who else got fifth. Who else got fifth and seventh? Let's be honest. Oh, I forgot to mention this. So if you guys didn't know, I won Twitch Rivals. Um for party animals uh, on Friday. Uh, I won $1,700. I think that might be as much, if not more, than I won in 10 years of Smash Brothers. I think I won more money playing party animals for four hours than I did in 10 years of Smash Brothers. And I guess I'll just mention this one because, like, fuck it at this point, man. The Bratz DS, uh, GameStop <laughs> sweepstakes. One-of-a-kind system Bratz console. Oh. The Nintendo Wii. You know what? It kind of looks like the Tony Hawk Game Boy. You can get a little bit less color, but it looks like Tony Hawk might have designed that joint. Shit looks uncomfortable to hold. It looks like your hand would smell weird after playing it for like 10 minutes. Nintendo Ooh. teamed up with Udon Entertainment and some company called Magic Pony to give away some dope Wii's, right? I kind of like it. They're, uh, dude, they're so 2000s. They're like painfully, like ugly 2000s. I like this one and no other. Top middle isn't bad. Top middle's the worst one. 
Top Metal looks like the front of a GameStop cover where they don't have the cover. The PAX 2008 Nintendo Wii. That's ugly. Wii. I this don't like that. This was a prize for either getting first or second at PAX 2008's Omegathon. So now I'm just going to show it here. This is a fucking raw game list. You Dude, Boom Blocks is great. Oh my god, Peggle, Pictionary, Boom Blocks. I want to play in this tournament. If I had a time machine, that's what I would do. I would snipe every Nintendo tournament and beat everybody, even the Dota guy. These two Wiis are so legendary that only the craziest bastards alive would even dare to try to own them. What are they? Because you could buy, like, I don't know, a car with the money needed for one of these. Oh, is it gold? First, the Super Smash Brothers Brawl Wii. I <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Tony Hawk's at it again. My boy, Tony H., at it again. That's my boy. Actually curious the your thoughts on this one, bro, man. Bro, that shit would overheat like crazy. That shit is hot as hell. If this wasn't enough, you know, I'll show you the other side. Bam. Supreme Lord <laughs> Bowser. And they even gave the Wii like a fucking subtitle bro, <laughs> to end them all. They... I, I feel like that shit would fall off, though. How is that shit affixed? Only okay. one person was able to win this console by really? competing in the Super Smash Bros. Brawl American Circuit. What? I don't... I don't know about this, this. circuit was a set of brawl tournaments that were actually hosted before the game even came out. What? I don't know this. But it's also covered in real crystals. So many crystals that it's estimated at being worth $4,000. And That's it? Huh. For 2008 Smash, dude, 4K? Shit. No, that's huge. That's that's huge. That's huge now, honestly. If you had, like, a $4,000 tournament is still not... For, like, a regional? That's not bad. It came with a bunch of other stuff, too. Here's all that. Oh, my God. LG flat panel LCD and a theater system. Okay. And a signed copy of Brawl. Who signed it? Definitely not Sakurai. But, uh, yeah, Korean DJ won it. Incredible Melee player back, huh? in, back in the day. Against he Trump did? Was there. A couple of the sets from the circuit actually still exist on YouTube, which is kind of insane. I did not know. Oh, <laughs> Ike, where are you going? I'm surprised people actually preserved the footage. It's... Pretty impressive. That's crazy. The Nintendo staff started playing We Are the Champions on loud ass speakers. Oh my god. They did not have a license to do that. I know they didn't. But yeah. there's one Wii that's even cooler. The Wii that was made specifically for the Queen of England, the Golden Wii. I thought you guys were kidding. That's real? Chat said the Queen's Wii, and I said, ho ho ho, funny chat. Ho 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 ho. Very silly indeed. But that's real. I feel like a good amount of people actually already know this is a thing. I, I mean, did not. It's a Nintendo Wii made out of real gold. That's not real gold. Old people did love the Wii, yeah. Actually I bet her ass was bowling. Wii, and it's kind of interesting. So this console was actually made as a huge marketing stunt by THQ, <laughs> one of the most prestigious game publishers. Now I know that's not real gold. In history, they made games like SpongeBob, SquarePants, Lights, Camera, Pants, Piglet's Big Game, <laughs> and De Blob. <laughs> Carlito's funny, bro. A kind of successor to Wii Sports. That game was called Big Family Games. <laughs> this game sucked complete ass. It was just dog. Don't really got to argue about yeah. that one. But okay. you know, THQ thought they yeah. could mask the shit this game reaped by just putting a golden Wii next to it and then giving it to the queen as a publicity stunt. Good for her. A copy of Big Family Games. That's not real gold. Like, does real gold look like that? I mean, that's kind of hard to beat, man. <laughs> the Mario Golf V Jump Cup for ESXL. This 3DS is super like clean, super simplistic. All it really is is Mario taking a nice swing. No, with I his like that golf though. Club, Good motion. But it's nice. You know, we can move on to the Nintendo Switch, the big man himself. Uh huh. The most recent Nintendo console produced that turns seven years old in six months. Oh my god. It's weird to think how long this generation has gone. I guess not the whole generation. I, how far are we into the PS5, bro? Because I ain't got no games. There's so many Switch variants that I can fucking jump scare you with pictures of Switches. That scary. Ah! I hope you shit yourself. The Odd World Strangers Wrath. Wait, that's real. I thought you were kidding. This is probably the weirdest thing in this video, and I talked about the Orange Soda Game Boy <laughs> earlier. I just wish it Ugh. had some really cool stuff. I thought you were kidding. Story. Dude, I wish Odd World was cool. Odd World is such a cool idea and like a world. It's like one of my favorite gaming worlds, but the games just are not that good. Some of them only is customize more? the dock itself, like this one. It's Diva's Mech, but as. Oh, a that's a Switch. Oh! Oh, I didn't even see the Switch in there. 
I won't lie, like the main thing that piqued my interest was the Bitcoin miner switch of all things. <laughs> yeah, that time when everyone on the internet was gaslit into thinking a cooking mama game would mine crypto on your little Mario system. Yeah. To my knowledge, it never mined shit. It was just a weird ass cooking mama game. Oh. Well, it got its own limited edition switch. Oh. Wait, so it didn't mine Bitcoin? The TikTok account that gave this away used to be called at Cookstar Cooking Mama. Uh huh. Makes sense. Her marketing is pretty much just the name of the game. Sure. But they ended up changing their account name to just at Cookstar so they could advertise their new game, Yum Yum Cookstar. <gasps> oh. They straight up killed Cooking Mama. That's crazy. It's the same game. All the Bitcoin mining allegations actually caught up to them, so they only sold like two copies of the game. Pissed off with all this shit attached to their new Cooking Mama, they just made the same game again, <laughs> but then removed Mama. So Wait, is Cooking Mama a Nintendo franchise? I guess not. I always thought Cooking Mama was like second party. Of oh, course you got the funny. random bangers like the Xenoblade Switch. Sure. But that's kind of it. It's kind of I mean, pretty. To yeah. be honest, at this point of time we're in, it makes sense for most things to just be sweepstakes or giveaways. But it doesn't feel as special anymore. No. It happens with 90% of systems. Even that's if true. the system does look really cool. I oh, that's cool. But don't get me wrong. I mean... It completely makes sense if you host a tournament, people want money. Give them some fucking money they earn. <laughs> I guarantee you they do not want your dumbass Switch. Dude, and, and it, it, definitely not a controller, right? <laughs> definitely not a pro controller, right? Not every piece of hardware can give you joy by just looking at it. So I hope today I spread at least a little bit of that joy to you by That's looking at some sweet. dumbass variants on the internet yet Very again. sweet ending. I'll see you around, man. Thank you, Carlito. Another Carlito banger, as is so often the case. And hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, you got some homework to do. I'm not going to watch all these videos for you. Hey, if you like this video, I demand you check out everything about Klungo. Yes, that's right. His video, everything about Klungo. So you can find out about his favorite game, Banjo-Tooie. If you've already seen that, unfortunately, he has no more videos. There's nothing else for you to watch. But there's more here, so subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, YouTube. So long.